Uh, thanks for being here. We are absolutely thrilled to win today's Big Ten game at Jeffrey Field. I thought it was a very hard fought match. Ohio State gave us everything we could handle, especially in the first half. Uh, but I give our players a lot of credit for getting a hold of the pace of the game. I thought before halftime came, we started to take advantage of some opportunities, created some goal scoring moments and in the second half. We're really good in terms of creating chances. So delighted with the effort, concentration that our players displayed and uh, looking forward to Saturday now against Wisconsin. So the games are coming quick, but uh, a great, a great victory today for us. All right, Trent, you can kick us off with questions. Hey coach, congrats on the win. Um, so obviously like Peter scored his third goal of the year and it was his um, third eventual game winning goal also. Mm -hmm. So um, what can you say about how he's performed so far, especially in, you know, these big moments and intense moments of Big Ten play? He's got such a great knack for finding good, dangerous spaces in the box. And he showed that once again tonight. His instincts are terrific. He's a competitive guy. You know, every moment in training, he's always trying to find little advantages in the practices, find little moments he can get, you know, get an advantage over his opponent. Uh, so really – Thought he did a great job today, and that's a that's a classic Peter Mangione goal, and, and another uh, really important one in a big moment to secure all three points for us. Go ahead, Otis. Hey, Coach! Congratulations on a very complete performance today. Um, that showed a lot of heart. Um, so today was the um, the Mac Brady game. Uh, did you guys did your coach the, you and your coaching staff did you guys do any special anything special uh, for the players or at all about Mac in preparation for the game? We did. We spoke about it yesterday at training. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Otis, because of the restrictions, we couldn't do the full Mac Brady ceremony, uh, which we will plan to do in the fall. Hopefully we're in a spot we can do that uh, with fans and appropriately recognize it. But we we did assist the Brady family in, in the winter to do a, an online goalkeeper clinic uh, to honor the Mac Brady uh, game and the connection to, that Mac has and his family have with Penn State. So it's extremely special that we continue that tradition and that we, we, uh, we, we maintain that as, as long as I'm the head coach here, that's going to be an integral part of our program. It's really special to have uh, the Brady family here in attendance at Jeffrey Field under you know, our very restricted attendance, but really special aspect of our program. Mac Brady, although I was never fortunate enough to meet him before he passed, uh, this is something that we feel keeps – his legacy alive and current and honors his memory, and his love of Penn state of soccer. And especially in his case, as a young player, he was a, as I understand, a passionate goalkeeper himself and loved Penn state and, and the Nittany Lions. Go ahead, Andy. Hey coach. So obviously Peter gets the winner tonight. He had missed a couple matches there and Danny had really uh, stepped up in his place. Danny blow you. Um, and then Peter had also started the season really hot as well. What can you say about having the kind of depth at the forward position that this team has shown throughout most of the season? Well, it's, it's a, a problem that I haven't often had in my coaching career, so I'm really happy that we have that kind of depth. Um, and we can score goals in different ways as a result of that. I think it's a strength of ours that we can go to different uh, ask different lines of the team. So sometimes it's our center forward. Sometimes it's a, it's a goal on a set piece. Other times it's midfielders. You know, you look across the group, whether it's Andrew Privet, Pierre Reedy, Seth Kuhn, and the guys you've already mentioned, Liam Butts. We've got a lot of firepower in our group. Uh, and we've talked about that, you know, when when it, maybe it's not somebody's day in one moment or someone might be in a little bit of a rut, you know, someone else steps up. So I think it, it makes us, I hope, makes us more difficult to defend against. Go ahead. So obviously the defense performed really well today, had the shutout. Um, how satisfied were you with them today and their ability to, you know, keep Ohio State out of the goal and um, – eventually get the victory. Yeah, that's a good point. I praise the the defenders, Chris and Goal. Uh, especially I thought the first 15, 20 minutes we didn't start particularly well, at least at least in terms of territory. And we but we defended our penalty area really well. We did it even late. Uh, I think one thing we've we are already thinking about is how we can manage the game maybe a bit more effectively. You know, we they Ohio State did a good look on a corner kick, which we should do better on. Uh, and then late we we sort of made a mess of a uh, a situation at midfield there where we should have maybe been more efficient. So uh, two straight shutouts, which is outstanding. Uh, we want to build on that. And we've got great characters in that group. And 
as you saw, we use a lot of different guys and that depth uh, defensively also will, will be very much tested as we go into these remaining regular season games and, and fingers crossed on into the Big Ten tournament. Andre, you have last question here. Hey, Coach, so just looking forward to Saturday now against Wisconsin. It's a team that's gotten some better results here in recent games and has kept Correct. the ball off their own net. Uh, what are you looking for here for your team to, uh, going into that matchup? It's interesting. This season has, has been a test for the coaches, uh, my, our staff here and our players, because the games come so rapidly. So we have a day off tomorrow, um, and then you kind of recover for a day, and all of a sudden the game's the next day, you know, so – we have tried very much to keep consistent with our messaging to our team and focus on the, the small details to continue to improve. Wisconsin, you're right. They, they had a, a tie away um, to Northwestern, which is a hard place, as we know, to go and win. And then, and then they had a great result last week, uh, scoring a late goal to beat Ohio State. So we know they're, they're going to give us everything. Uh, but it's about our, our standards of performance, our energy. So we've got to recover. We've got to be really smart about how we handle these next few days because we know Wisconsin will come in here fighting for their lives. Every, they need every point they can get to advance up the standing. So we'll, we'll be ready. We'll be professional about our, our work and getting the team ready uh, and excited to be back at Jeffrey on Saturday.